Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Courtney. Today, gingerbread theme is taking over my channel. I hope you enjoy these budget-friendly $1 DIYs. Make sure you stay tuned to the end. There's a little special treat at the very end. Let's get into it. Rolling into this first DIY, I will be making over this Dollar Tree snow globe sign. I had two ideas that I wanted to do for this. I couldn't decide which one, so I'm actually gonna make this double-sided and then you guys can decide which one you like better. The first step here is I've made a free printable for you guys. I will link it down below in the description box. I need to get both of these circles cut out. Once the circles were all cut out, I flipped my sign to the back, grabbed some Waverly crimson colored chalk paint and painted the base of the snow globe along with the sides. To prepare the other side of the snow globe, I grabbed my scraper to scrape off the glitter Normally I do grab some Goo Gone, that is my favorite hack, and I spray it on there and then scrape off the glitter very easily with that, but there wasn't a, a whole lot on there. So I just scraped it off with this and then painted over the Happy Holidays, also with the Crimson Red Chalk Paint. To attach my two circle printable templates, well they're not templates, but two circle printables to the snow globe, I just used regular glue. Now I did print mine out on just regular printer paper. If you want it to be a little bit sturdier, go ahead and use that cardstock. Once you get it attached, it is going to overhang down into your base and you're just going to want to pull up the bottom of it and make a crease and then trim off that extra part of the circle. Now it's time to grab whatever ribbon you'd like to use. This is a reversible ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's red stripe on one side, polka dot on the other. I'm going to wrap it around the base here of the snow globe and then on the back side, go ahead and tie a bow. To finish off this side of the snow globe, I'm going to grab some greenery and hot glue that directly underneath my bow. And then taking a little peppermint candy ornament thing that I got from Hobby Lobby, I'm gonna glue that right underneath the bow, kind of in the center of the greenery. And then this side is finished and I'm ready to finish off the other side. To finish off the other side, I'm going to add these two wooden gingerbread stickers to it. I got these from Hobby Lobby, but Dollar Tree does have wooden gingerbread cutouts. Now let me know down in the comments, which one of these sides is your favorite? Is it the side that has the bow on it or is it the side with the little wooden gingerbread cookies? Moving into this next Dollar Tree DIY, I grabbed one of these lanterns from the Dollar Tree Plus section. It was $5. We're gonna end up breaking this little puppy down so that we can get it painted. Now, I would highly recommend if you can find brown spray paint, you guys know I'm not a super huge fan of spray painting. I would recommend using spray paint. I did look for brown spray paint and could not find any. So my next best thing was to find a good paint and I found this 
uh, deco art chalk paint for, at Hobby Lobby. It's called Restore. It is a great gingerbread color. If you like doing gingerbread crafts and need to paint that color, highly recommend this one. And I started to paint it. You are going to end up needing to put several coats on this and you're definitely going to want to either seal it with some Mod Podge or a spray on sealer because the paint will chip off because this lantern is plastic. When you're ready to take the base off of the lantern, you're gonna need a tiny screwdriver. There are four screws holding it on, but it comes off really easily. Just unscrew the base, and then the glass pieces inside the lantern will come out really easily. To protect the candle from getting brown paint on it, I did put a piece of painter's tape along the edge, or I should say the bottom of the candle, and then I went in and painted the base brown. To dress up this candle, I wanted to paint some stripes on it. I'm going to tape it off and paint red stripes on it and leave the white portion of this candle just with where I tape it off. Now this candle is not a pure white. If I had to relate it to a color, if you have Waverly chalk paint and you happen to have white plaster and ivory, it's the plaster color. So it's not quite super creamy, but it's definitely not pure white but I'm okay with that. It makes it easy. So all I have to do is go in with my crimson red paint and just paint the red stripes. Everything that needed paint is ready to go. So now I just need to reassemble the lantern. The lantern is all assembled. Next step is to grab some of these red and white straws from Dollar Tree. You're gonna need four of them. Grab a small pair of sharp scissors and cut from one end of the straw up to the other, and then use your thumb and press it to try to open up the straw a little bit. Once all four straws are ready to go, you will need to trim a little bit off of it just to make sure that it will fit the lantern. But these straws are gonna go in the corners of the lantern and they will just smush perfectly in there and be attached just using some hot glue. With the candy cane straw columns attached, I'm now grabbing some of these little gingerbread buttons. These did come from Hobby Lobby, but again, remember Dollar Tree has those wooden gingerbreads that you could paint and put on there. I'm gonna put a gingerbread on each side of the lantern using hot glue to attach it. To dress up the lantern a little bit, I'm using some white hot glue. This is just a colored glue stick from Sherbonder. If you saw my videos last year, I did a whole gingerbread house where I was using colored glue sticks. My hand, I'm gonna, my hand just was not very steady this day and it took me a while to figure out the trick. You have to keep the glue gun really close to the surface and to get it to look right. So I just did the best I could. It may be kind of kindergarten quality, but hey, it's a gingerbread house, it's all right. But I did decide to use the hot glue and do some swirlies on the bottom and then I'm also going to decorate the top of the lantern with the white hot glue.
For the top of the lantern, I took some more of those peppermint ornaments. They again came from Hobby Lobby and I just hot glued those to the center of the white squiggles on the top of the lantern. To finish off the lantern, I pulled together some random greenery and just made a little arrangement and made a bow with that same Hobby Lobby ribbon that's reversible. Glue hot glued it to the top of the lantern and then this project was ready to go. For this next DIY, I found this tree in a jar at Dollar Tree and decided I was going to do something pretty simple with this. I cut open the lid. Well, of course I did because I needed to get inside this jar. And then I dumped the tree in the snow into a bucket because I wasn't quite sure if maybe I might want to use that later on. Then I rinsed it out really good and set it aside to dry. While the jar was drying, I picked up three packs of these wooden gingerbread cutouts from Dollar Tree and painted them with that restore colored paint. To add the details to my gingerbread cookies, I used a white Sharpie paint pen, the fine tip, drew on the eyes, the mouth, as well as three buttons and squigglies on the arms and legs. Now, I did not do this on both sides of the gingerbread. I opted to leave one side just brown, but it's up to you if you want them to have that. You'll see kind of when they're displayed in the jar that you'll see some that are just plain brown because the front part isn't showing. So your choice if you wanna do both sides or just one side of the gingerbread. I put all the cookies inside of the jar. Then taking the top cork lid, I took my sharp Cricut tool. You can use anything that's kind of sharp and dug out a little hole so that I could hot glue, again, one of those little peppermint ornament things from Hobby Lobby at the top of the cork lid. To decorate my bottle a little bit more, I grabbed some more of that Hobby Lobby ribbon and hot glued that around the neck of the jar. And then I grabbed some of this white rickrack that also came from Hobby Lobby and hot glued that to, on the center of the ribbon. To finish out the jar, I wanted to make a label. I found this cute design on Design Bundles. I will link the SVG link or thing that I bought down below. I printed it out on some sticker paper, had my Cricut cut it out, but you could just use cardstock, regular copy paper, or even print it on a shipping label and cut it out yourself. Time to make some gingerbread trees. These trees came from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to be using all six of them to make two trees. First step here is to paint them with that Restore paint.
With the trees painted, I'm going to take some of that white rickrack and hot glue it to the base of each of these cones. To piece these trees together, we're gonna need some pieces of dowel rods to help us have the cones stack a little bit of distance. I hope that makes sense. Instead of, if I stacked all the cones, it really wouldn't look like a tree. So we need these to help us kind of give some height to our tree. You're gonna take one of the long dowel rods from Dollar Tree and just cut it into eight pieces. So cut it in half, cut those two pieces in half, then cut that piece in half, and you'll end up with eight pieces. So this is what we need to do to make sure that our cones will stack properly. You're going to take a piece of the dowel rod and hot glue it to the inside of the cone, leaving it not right at the base of the cone, but just down, just, I don't know, a little bit. And then you're gonna do an opposite piece of the dowel rod on the other side so that they're directly across from each other. Then take two more pieces of dowel rod and hot glue those just to the pieces that are in there. So basically what you end up having is a cone. If you were looking into the cone, you would have on one side of the cone, two pieces of dowel rod stuck together and then two pieces on the other. And what that does is it kind of narrows in our tree, which will make us make it easier for us to stack it and get some height for the trees. Once the three cones are glued together, just take some more of that rick rack and we're going to wrap it around the top and hot glue it. For the trunk of these two trees, I'm using a dowel rod that I used in another project that was wrapped with twine. I'm just going to cut it down with my miter shears and use that to make my trunk. I'm gonna make one a little bit longer and one a little bit shorter. But if you don't have a dowel rod this size, you could use some of the tower blocks or you could group together some of the dowel rods from Dollar Tree. To attach my trunks to my cone trees, I just use some good old hot glue. To help my trees stand up, I'm using these two wooden round circles. I had them in my stash because I'd gotten them from Hobby Lobby a long time ago. I'm gonna paint them with some more of that brown paint and then take some of the white rick rack and hot glue that around the edge of these wood rounds. To attach my trees, I'm simply just going to put some hot glue on them and stick them directly down onto the wood rounds. I decided to decorate my trees with these mini peppermint ornaments. They came from Hobby Lobby in the miniature section. Now this is where you could just put whatever you want on there. You could do little gingerbread cookies. You could use the white hot glue and go in and do some more. But I decided just to hot glue these little peppermints to the trees. And to finish off these trees, I grabbed some of the little peppermint ornaments from Hobby Lobby. I had thought about putting some peppermints on top, but I decided to glue two to one of them and then one peppermint to the smaller tree along with a little gingerbread men. And then this was all finished.
I grabbed this Dollar Tree sign for the next DIY. To make this over, I needed to break it down first, so I took off the beads, and then to get the frame off of this, I took my scraper tool and you heated it up on my glue gun, or not my glue gun, that would not make any sense. I heated it up on my heat gun, and I took it and pretty much just sliced through the glue and it nicely removed the frame from the back of this side. I started to peel the paper off of this side and it kind of made this all wonky. So I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna flip this over and that's where I'm gonna apply my fabric. So this red and white fabric came from Hobby Lobby and I just put it on the back of the side. Once the fabric was all put on, I reattached my frame just by hot gluing it down. And then for the back, I wanted to go ahead and cover that up. So I just took a piece of the Dollar Tree brown craft paper and covered the back with that. Since this is fabric, I created a decal, an iron-on decal, and I'm gonna go ahead and place this on here now. I did go ahead and make this a printable for you so that if you do not have this fabric or the capability of making an iron-on, you could just print this out and put it directly into the frame as well. To decorate this frame, I'm going to attach some of these little gingerbread cookie ornaments. They came from Hobby Lobby. Uh, I think they have them again this year, but I had them in my stash from last year. I'm going to hot glue one of those to each of the corners and then reattach the beads and then the sign is all finished. Well, what is this you ask? Well, stay tuned about 10 seconds. I'm gonna show it to you all decorated. Let me know down below which one of these DIYs was your favorite. Also, let me know if you do decorate with the gingerbread theme. Thanks so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned to the end. There are some more videos you might enjoy. And here you go. This is my this year's gingerbread hutch and tree. <laughs>